This is a classic problem in physics where you're almost guaranteed if you're studying kinematics that this might come up in a test or an assignment somewhere. But you have two point particles and they're traveling towards each other and they're on the same x axis. And you need to figure out how long it will take for them to collide and what distance either of them will travel. And so these will be represented as a lot of different things. It could be two cars driving together, um, it could be two players running together, two soccer balls, or in this case, we're going to use two wizards flying together on their broomsticks. I like to go with wizards. Everybody likes wizards. Who doesn't like magic? Okay. And there's a very important trick to this, which is just as we did our axis in the last example, this will be the x initial of the left wizard. This will be the x initial of the right wizard. But the trick is they're going to share the same x final position. And so typically what they give you is they'll give you this distance here let's say is 100 meters spanning so we know that x initial red is at 100 meters and we are given their velocities so the velocity of the left wizard which is traveling right is 5 meters per second and the velocity of the right wizard traveling left is 7 meters per second. And so we can use the same equation which we derived in the previous video uh, to figure out equations for both of these wizards. So in the left case we're going to have the x final which is going to be equal to the x initial of the left wizard plus the velocity of the left wizard times the change in time and we're going to try to solve for this change in time and we have for this wizard its equation is its x final is equal to the x initial of the right wizard plus its velocity times change in time. But something very important to note, which is this velocity is plus a negative velocity because on the x-axis the convention we use is traveling to the right is positive, but velocity traveling left or acceleration going left will be negative. So this is going to be negative. So we can now solve this in two different ways. We have two unknowns and anytime you have two unknowns and two equations you can solve for one of those unknowns and then we just plug back in and get the other unknown. So in this case we're going to set, well we know that this x final equals this and the same x final equals this so we can sub in this whole term for this x final or this whole term for this x final so we're going to do it this way we're going to say we're going to replace this x final with this whole term here so the x initial left plus velocity of the left wizard changed in time equals the velocity initial of the right wizard minus the velocity times change in time. We just brought this out front. And then we want to solve for the change in time. So we're going to try to get these two terms on the same side. So we're going to add this to each side of the equation. So our x initial left plus velocity left delta t plus because we add it to both sides, so it's removed from this side, plus velocity right, delta t. It's important to uh, 
when you have the same variables, you need to denote which one you are referring to. And that's going to be equal to the x initial on the right side. And then now, we just need to get this term over here, so we're going to subtract it from both sides. So the velocity left times change in time plus velocity right times change in time equals x initial right minus x initial left. So now we can just factor out our change in time here. So that will come out front and be change in time times velocity left plus velocity right equals our x initial right minus x initial left. Now we just divide both sides by our velocities here to get our change in time. So the change in time is equal to the x initial right minus x initial left divided by this whole term, so velocity left plus velocity right. So we can now solve for the time at which they're going to collide. So the x initial of the right side is 100 meters, and the x initial of the left side is at 0 meters, divided by the velocity of the left wizard, which is 5 meters per second, plus the velocity of the right wizard, and we already accounted for the negative sign right here, and then we brought it over to the other side. So it's just going to be 7 meters per second. So 10 or 100 divided by 5 plus 7 is 8.3 seconds. And units, uh, meters are going to cancel here, leaving us with units of seconds. And so now that we have the change in time, we know they'll collide after 8.3 seconds, we can actually figure out this distance here by just plugging back into this equation here. So the x final, which we're trying to figure out, is equal to the x initial plus the velocity of the left wizard, so 5 meters per second, times the change in time, well we know the change in time is now 8.3 seconds, 0.3 seconds, so the x final will be 5 times 8.3, which is 41.5 meters, in seconds you're going to cancel here, leaving you with units of meters. So this first wizard traveled a distance, this distance here, which is 41.5 meters. And the second wizard traveled 100 minus 41.5 meters, so I believe it is 58.5. That should work out. Okay, that is how you do it. Have an excellent day.